It's Carol Marock here at carolmarock.com. Welcome to Solo and Smart, my YouTube channel that offers achievable tips when growing older alone. In today's video addresses how our attitude plays into the experience, all of our experiences actually, even when growing older. And, you know, I've held this belief my entire life and have known the impact that attitude and perceptions have on my own life and whether I will enjoy it or dread it. And, it's, and this is exactly what my upcoming book, Solo and Smart, is about. It starts with my own caregiving experience while helping my parents and what I learned through observation. But even though I saw what I will likely face in my own aging down the road, it's my attitude and then thinking about how I want my life to be five, 10, and even 15 years down the road is what matters most. And it is those things that will make the largest impact. So I'm thrilled to share an important study that reflects my own insights. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm teaching a class at the Lifelong Learning Institute in Virginia. And the presentation that I will teach uh, starting tomorrow covers this topic how to create community where you live. And as you likely know, creating a sense of, a, you know, of having a strong support where you live is vital to aging safely and independently. And it's really solo agers, we must do the hard work to make that happen because we can't rely on anyone else to do it for us probably don't have very many people to rely on to help us do it. But before the work begins, we must learn to mitigate our fears. And we do that by shifting our mindset of away from seeing only problems and challenges to seeing possibilities and focusing on the options that are available to us. So a fascinating new study just released by, Oregon, by the Oregon State University makes a compelling case for all of us to take a more optimistic approach to growing older. And the researchers at OSU say that if an individual believes and visualizes that they'll be happy and healthy well into old age, they're much more likely to experience that outcome. In short, if you believe that it's inevitable that you'll one day wake up to a world of debilitating aches and pains, declining mental cognition, and an isolated lifestyle, chances are that's what's going to happen. However, if you envision yourself aging gracefully and staying active and content throughout your elderly years, you'll likely see that version of yourself become a reality. And that's what I hold on to. So for decades, the elderly were depicted in cartoons, movies, and TV shows as grumpy, living alone, and leading a lifestyle devoid of pleasure, right? Isn't that how we're depicted? And these findings, though, indicate such ideas are a self-fulfilling prophecy more than anything else. If someone spends their entire life believing that they even make that they can even make it to the age of 85, that they'll be miserable and routinely tell the neighborhood kids to get off their porch and off their lawns, 
That is probably what's going to happen. As a matter of fact, I remember a few of the elderly in my neighborhood when I was growing up, and that's exactly how they reacted to us. And because self-perceptions of aging uh, really is linked to, to so many major health outcome, the two researchers at OSU who are Hooker and Turner, they wanted to understand what influences those perceptions. And their study looked specifically at the influence of two factors, self-efficacy, which is associated with possible selves, meaning a person's perceived ability to become the person they want to be in the future. And the second one is optimism as a general personality trait. And this is exactly true for me. I have always believed that I possess the power to experience an outcome of my own choosing and that no one else has that power over me. And so everything about life is in my hands and how I choose to perceive it. So researchers say, these two researchers at OSU and, and others actually, say that people need to realize that some of the negative consequences in later life might not be biologically driven. That's, that's a thought, huh? And the mind and body are all interwoven. Uh, and this is what one, one of the researchers says. And she says, if you believe these bad things are going to happen, over time they can erode people's willingness to maybe even eventually their ability to engage in those health behaviors that are going to keep them as healthy as they can be. So we hear so often how our thoughts dictate our realities. Now these findings suggest our thoughts and attitudes also influence our far off futures. There's plenty to not like about growing old, Believe me, I know, <laughs> but that doesn't mean you should assume the worst. And when you start to envision a happy retirement and perhaps more importantly, truly believe you can make it there one day in a happy way, and you will already be on your way towards making it a reality. And that's what I hold for myself and for you, too. Well, thank you for joining me. Circle back in the next day or so, and I will have more information and hopefully walk you through uh, some of the suggestions and some of the tips that I am offering at the LLI, the Lifelong Learning Institute in Virginia, starting tomorrow. Thank you again. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you do appreciate these achievable tips. Thank you.